Now arriving at Yijang Tower. Ready for battle. Rayon, he's great, isn't he? I'm looking forward to working with you. Is that it? You'll love this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. Symmetry reporting. Get in here. Hey. Interesting that that lamp that. Sim TP doesn't work. Unlucky. Um. No. Don't you dare. I do that shit in gold. You shouldn't be doing that shit in GM. <laughs> Uh, besides, go for the mercy if you're gonna do it. Okay. You just wanted to fuck around on Jaisil, and now we're on Tracer. Ooh. Good follow up. Let me watch that. Oh. Boop. Okay. So your entire team's dead anyway. Yeah, it's a 2v4 right now. Now it's a 2v5. You and your Lucio just needed to get out and reset at this point. If you get an exit pick, cool, but... Oh wait, you had the point. I got confused by the colors. Never mind, you're stalling on point. I take it all back. I'm Papega and got confused by, you know, colors. You're good. Yeah. You built some pulse and you stalled on point. That ball hears you. out of the point into a corner. Like, I want to... I want my coaches to see this. Look how he he fights on this point. So he blinks in to do some damage, blinks out around a corner to reload, and then find his next target. Blinks out to a corner, looks around. Like, that habit of blinking to a corner while you look around to find your next target is huge. It's a really important habit to build on basically any hero. Anytime you reload, anytime... Uh... Yeah. Mercy players, like, when you GA to somebody, GA past them into the corner that's past them, sort of thing, or stop a little early if that keeps you in cover. Nice stick. <laughs> and Ego goes down. Then some nice things. Yeah, right? Uh, tracer headshots are probably the most satisfying headshots sound to me in this entire game. That, that was a terrible impression. Let's pretend I didn't make those noises. Oop. Okay. Get pressured out. Unlucky. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Unlucky. Mercy lands the direct. Uh, not Mercy, Farah. Whatever, you guys got 99. 
Yeah, build some pulse. Die on point. Cool. That far is looking for barrage, I think. Oh, yep, she has it. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at this or cracky or paying attention. I just saw that she was flying there. I'm like, that far has barrage. Which, to tell you the truth, is most of my ult tracking is just reading body language. Like, I forget to track ults all the goddamn time, but I get away with it probably more than I should because... You see shit like that and you just know. You see how people's playstyles change. She's setting up for a barrage. She wanted us to walk out so she could barrage right behind us. Nice stick. Good movement. And we out. Because it was a lost fight. Like, don't quite get out, but oh well. I mean, maybe not oh well, because it's 99 to 99. Maybe your ball can touch. Nope, unlucky. Okay. Honestly, that tracer wasn't that bad. I think you stay in deep a little bit too long. And you, uh, you go into the middle a little bit too often. Like, stay on the edges a little bit more. Uh, Four, three, one, but, I mean, you were certainly farming. She's just very fragile, so, like, if they see you coming, it's so easy to kill you. Nice. Good peel on your honor. Right click. Quite the boost. Executing flight maneuvers. Stalling on the roof. Yeah, there isn't really a good high ground here for you to land on, unfortunately. Up. Uh, Taser, you said you wanted to learn Echo. Pro tip, land on high grounds. Use your first, whatever your first flight is, whatever you're doing, fine. Land on a high ground, so the next one takes you even higher. Uh, it's way easier to beat the pharmacy if you're above it. Same with, like, the Lucio 1v1s. The Lucio that's above the other has a much easier time winning. Okay. Air superiority. So, like, see, uh, earlier, like, he flies, like, straight up after the Farah has flown up because she only has so much fuel. So she goes up first, then you go up after, and she starts dropping and you're below her and she doesn't have the fuel or the cooldowns to get back above you. At least for a couple seconds. Gotta love Echo. Nothing about this hero is broken. Nice. I hate that the bubble colors are mixed. Oof. Three misses you. Nope. 
you could probably use your right click a little bit more. You hold it for kind of a while. Uh, you hold it until you no have a target you know you can hit, which is good. Except when it's this goddamn early, like, you could throw it out, zone him back for a little bit, maybe get a tiny bit of slash damage, whatever, because it's free. So, like, why the hell not? Yeah, honestly, that's kind of it for your Echo, dude, is, like, use your right clicks more. That's what I got. The end. We'll see how you do on this one. Three has depression now. <laughs> Don't we all? Oh, I would see like right there. I would have dropped a right click into that, and then you do anyway in a second. But wow, that's a GM mercy. She didn't see you. Like, of course you you were gonna do that. Wild. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, little things like you reload early there when you could have just keep spamming. Uh, superiority confirmed. Mercy players are another thing, can confirm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, one of the only differences between a Master's Mercy and anything above a Master's Mercy is your ability to get off crazy reses like that. Because, like, they're your one consistent carry play. And you can really clutch with a res like that, but... That, I don't think, was the one. That was a little too ballsy. You could crouch and right-click down there. Shatter, Blade, Echoes, Nerd, Copy. Aww. You miss. Unlucky. So... Nice. Uh... Copy Rhine, go for the mid-air pin so you drop on them, but instead of pinning this way, you copy, and you pin this way, and try to get somebody into this thing, because now you're behind them. You're in the back line. And since you're a copy ride, like, who gives a fuck if you feed? You're just back here, swing, swing, shatter. Swing, swing, shatter. You die, you fly away. Only thing, really, I change about that. Pin into the back line with the, with the echo copy Rhine. Rather than trying to pin the Rhine himself there, like... He was all alone. He could fuck off and do whatever he wanted. I think maybe you went for the Rhine because you wanted to block the Shatter. Learning from that one. If that, if the plan was to pin the Rhine because you wanted to block Shatter, then it was a bit too risky of a play because the pin missed. So like he could have shattered at any time after you passed him. Yo. Oh. Unlucky. 
securing the objective. Okay, and that's the end. Victory. Yeah. Right click more. It's like the biggest thing I got for you. Just throw them out there. It's a six second cooldown. Like, obviously there are times where you want to save it to confirm a kill. But, or like save it for a grab or whatever. But like early in the poke phase, when you're just like spamming out shots anyway, might as well.